thank you for talking to us. Thank one. you. Thank and you. Yeah, we just begin with this one of the most uh, uh, important meeting between the two leaders of China and India. How has this visit of President Xi gone down uh, among the Chinese people? How it's being seen by Chinese people? Yes, absolutely. I think that uh, uh, the India and China has uh, such a long tradition. It's the two biggest country in terms of uh, population. We have a 2.6 billion <laughs> of the world. Uh, you know, that's really tremendous. And uh, also that India and China are so much uh, complementary of each other. I've been to India many times. As a matter of fact, yesterday I published a special column uh, op-ed on India Express, on Indian-China relation. So I think this uh, relationship of uh, uh, President Xi visiting India and get such a welcome from uh, Indian people, from President Modi, uh, Prime Minister Modi, is, is very impressive. The Chinese people are, are really impressed and they, they felt that, uh, uh, you know, India and China uh, they should be brothers and good neighbors and they should really work together. And, uh, and there's so much in complementary of each other. And, uh, uh, you know, China and India can work together on the infrastructure, on the tourism, on the, on the you know, uh, all kind of uh, manufacturing. Uh, there's so much in, in common. So, so, so I think that uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi was in Wuhan uh, last year Recently, in Beijing yes. and then now President Xi paid him a visit. So I'm glad to see the personal rapport has been established between the two leaders. And also uh, this has actually will really enhance the sentiment uh, in China that awareness of India and also the, the potential for India and also we're also coping on the RCEP, you know, RCEP and we're cooperating on the uh, Indian and Chinese and we're trying to Im import more from India. We, we want to yeah, have, have more students come to India. So there's many way, not many ways we can do that. They're, 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 but there's a uh, mismatch in terms of the yeah. scale of what China has achieved in the last 70 years. Yeah. You've just uh, had 70 years uh, celebrations and what India has achieved in like, 72 years. Yes. Uh, uh, the trade, there's a huge trade deficit which we want to bring down. Yeah, that's one thing. Second thing, the people-to-people -people relations are not uh, what it should be between two countries with Absolutely. billion plus. Absolutely. So, do you think that there is a what can we do? to mm -hmm. remove this mismatch between the two countries. Yeah, there are several things I could recommend. I think in order to make uh, uh, improve the awareness, uh, China has one, 150 million people travel outside China, you know, yes, uh, overseas. I mean, there's a very small, tiny portion of that went to India. India is such a historical, splendid country and so many historical sites and the Buddhism, the birthplace. Let, let's, let's, you know, have a visit to India. Uh, movement in China, you know that that would be could be them. Second, we should send more students uh, by, by the two countries bilateral exchange on the student exchange. You know, I mean the first Chinese student uh, uh, who uh, Xuanzang in the Tang Dynasty went to India to get the Buddhism introduced into China.